What is up guys? I am the John Gaz. I'm coming at you today with another conspiracy theory about The Simpsons. Now before I start this theory, I do want to say that I am simply summarizing another YouTuber's idea. The Real Gems has a lot more evidence for this theory than what I am going to be discussing. I'm going to link you guys to his three-part series in the description down below, but as for this video, I'm just giving you the gist. Time to get started. According to Simpsons canon, it was Maggie Simpson who shot Mr. Burns. It's referenced multiple times throughout the series and generally accepted by all Simpsons fans. And outside of her being a baby, we really have no reason to question this. We're given a pretty detailed story as well as visuals that show how she shot him, and we've seen her be pretty proficient with firearms in other instances. But as you guys should know by now, there is a conspiracy theory about everything, and there are a few things in this episode that don't quite add up. Also, we're just looking to have some fun with the idea that the writers, to this day, have fooled us all. And because of this, we're going to shift the blame away from Maggie and over to Marge Simpson. Now, there's a couple of reasons we're doing this. It's not just out of the blue. And even though Marge is arguably the nicest person in the entire series, she's not completely blameless. For our first bit of evidence, we know that Marge Simpson is pretty proficient with firearms. She was a member of the police department at one point and absolutely destroys the firearms exam. We also know she has a little bit of an infatuation with guns because there's that one episode where she's supposed to toss Homer's gun in the trash, but keeps it for herself. Second point, we know that Marge Simpson is the type of person to let all of her problems accumulate until she snaps. Like I said, she's arguably the nicest person in the series, but when that last straw gets placed on her back, it breaks and she gets wild. Now these two pieces of evidence alone aren't what seals this theory, obviously. You can hardly call them evidence. All we're saying is to not completely discredit Marge just because she doesn't seem to have the type of personality where she would shoot somebody. Because as far as we've discussed, we are not aware of what Marge's motive would be. However, if you're a true fan of The Simpsons, you should know that at this point in the series, Mr. Burns has wronged every single member of Marge's family. Because at this point, Bart, Lisa, and Homer have all gotten screwed over by Mr. Burns. The final straw is when he tries to take candy from Maggie, her baby daughter. Now in the struggle for the candy is when we're told that Maggie accidentally shot Mr. Burns. During the struggle, the gun falls out of its holster, lands in Maggie's hands, and she accidentally pulls the trigger. But this just seems like it's kind of a ridiculous solution to the mystery. According to this theory, it's not here where Maggie shoots Mr. Burns. It's here where Marge goes berserk. She witnesses the struggle for the candy as she's still near the car. She approaches Mr. Burns, easily wrestles the gun out of its holster, shoots him, wipes off her fingerprints, and throws it in the backseat of the car, thinking that no one would ever look there. So, so far, I feel like this makes sense. It's Marge going crazy because someone has wronged her entire family. However, there are two pretty big pieces of evidence that contradict this theory, and I'm going to address both of them. One, Marge is shown on screen when we hear the gunshot that is presumed to be the one that lands in Mr. Burns. Then, Mr. Burns staggers around the corner a few moments later. But if you think about it, he moved pretty fast for an old man that just got shot. He makes it from the back to the front of the building in seconds. We also know that there is one other person who was shot this episode. That is the old man Jasper, who was shot by Waylon Smithers. However, despite there being two guns going off in this episode, we only hear one gunshot. Why can't the gunshot that we heard be the one that came from Smithers' gun and not Mr. Burns's? What we're thinking is that Waylon Smithers shot Jasper just a few minutes after Mr. Burns was shot. It's simply well, or depending on how you look at it, poorly timed. So when we see Marge in front of the building when she hears that gunshot, she had already shot Mr. Burns. She was just fleeing the scene of the crime. We're not saying it's the most logical thing for Marge to have done, especially leaving her baby in the car, but her adrenaline was pumping and that was the first thing that came to her head. Plus, after Mr. Burns' body was discovered, she did go get Maggie from the car to make sure that she was okay. Mr. Burns also did end up lurching towards the front of the building by Marge anyway, but that's besides the point. Because as far as anyone else knows, she wasn't around the area where he actually got shot. 
Also, after the incident, anytime anyone brings it up around Marge, she acts really shifty and changes the subject. All of this considered, if it was Marge who shot Mr. Burns, why wouldn't he just report her to the police? The answer is simple, because he's in love with her. Now think about it, because we've only ever seen Mr. Burns love three women in the series. His girlfriend Gloria, Marge's mother, and Marge. And we have to remember that Mr. Burns never just stopped loving Marge. There was no bad blood between him and her when he decided that he needed to let her go. He just let her go. Despite her shooting him, he just couldn't bring himself to blame her. So he went with the option that had the least repercussions. He blamed the baby. And that, you guys, is the entire theory. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, don't take this theory as us saying that it definitely wasn't Maggie who shot Mr. Burns. All we're saying is that the case shouldn't be closed because there are a few more possibilities that weren't explored that make a lot more sense. That being said, I'm not asking you to change your view. I just want to know what you thought of this theory. So make sure you give me some feedback in the form of rating and commenting. Also, if you feel like subscribing, that'd be pretty sick too. You'll get notified every time I upload another video. And if you feel like being a super fan, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description down below. As always, you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Stay fresh.